One person dies every six seconds because of tobacco. That's the World Health Organization. Six seconds. Here's how cigarettes took over the world and why quitting feels like wrestling your own brain. Tobacco started in the Americas, used in rituals long before Europeans showed up. In the 1500s, it sailed to Europe, sold as medicine, a miracle leaf. By the 1600s, smoking was culture. Then the 1880s hit. The Bonsack machine mass-produced cigarettes. Cheap, fast, everywhere. World War I? Cigarettes were in soldier rations. Stress, boredom, trauma, the perfect storm. After the wars, ads plastered cities, athletes, movie stars, even fake doctor endorsements. Smoking equaled cool, grown-up, in-crowd. In 1964, the U.S. Surgeon General said it flat out. Smoking causes cancer. Companies pivoted, filters, light, low tar. Sounds safer, right? It wasn't. People just inhaled deeper. Behind the smoke was chemistry. Nicotine hits your brain in seconds. Dopamine floods, stress drops, focus sharpens. Your brain learns. Puff equals relief. That's a super glue habit loop. So why is quitting so hard? Withdrawal, irritability, cravings, brain fog, triggers, coffee, driving after meals, stress, mates outside the pub, ritual, hand to mouth, the break, the breath, identity, I'm a smoker. Your brain isn't broken, it's efficient. It wired a shortcut. Here's what helps. Pick a quit date, tell someone. Replace the ritual, chew gum, straw, toothpick, a stress ball. Ride the craving wave. Most last three to five minutes. Set a timer. Delay, deep breathe, drink water, distract. Four Ds. Nicotine replacement, patches, gum, lozenges can steady the withdrawal. Meds from a doctor can cut cravings. Quit lines and text programs double your odds. If you slip, it's data, not defeat. Adjust, go again. Remember, you're not giving something up. You're getting your breath, money, time, and future back. Day one beats one day.